and Roly too. Lofty and Wendy join the crew. Bob and the gang have so much fun. Working together, they get the job done. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. Bilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud, playing together like good friends should. Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can. I'm ready for another plank, Wendy. I'm afraid it's not ready yet, Bob. This saw's so old and blunt, it takes ages to cut through the wood. Ah, right. I've been meaning to get it sharpened for ages. Oh, I don't think that would help, Bob. The teeth are too worn down. You really need a new one. And we promised Mrs Potts that we'd have her fence finished today. Oh, yes. I tell you what, why don't I take a turn with the saw and you can hammer the planks in? All right, Bob. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. You're right, Wendy. This old thing is really blunt. Hello, Bob. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Scoop. Is it home time already? Yes, it is. And the fence is only half finished. Are you off then, Bob? I'm afraid so, Mrs Potts. We'll be back to finish your fence tomorrow. I promise. <laughs> You know, Pilchard, we would have finished that fence today if my old saw wasn't so blunt. So, I'm going to order a brand new one, just for Wendy. After all, she does just as much sawing as I do. You know, Bird, Bob could really do with a new saw. Beep, beep. Oh, hello. Is that tools for you? Uh, yes, I'd like to order a saw, please. And it'll arrive first thing tomorrow morning? That's great. Thanks very much. Wendy will be surprised. Hello there, Spud. Oh, you don't look very happy. I'm really fed up, Travis. Aren't you supposed to be scaring birds for Farmer Pickles? Oh, well, that's all I ever do. I bet I could do loads more to help people, but nobody ever asks me. They think all I'll do is cause trouble. But uh, you always do cause trouble, Spud. Ah, oh, well, today I'm going to help someone. You'll see. <laughs> oh, dear. What are you looking for, Bob? Uh, I'm expecting a parcel, Dizzy. Mr Dixon, the delivery man, should have arrived with it by now. Oh, what's in the parcel, Bob? Is it a present? <laughs> I love presents. I'll tell you later, Dizzy. <laughs> That's the phone. Hello. Is that you, Bob? Mr Dixon here. Morning, Mr Dixon. Uh, I've got a parcel for you, but my delivery van's broken down. It's been fixed, but I won't be able to make any deliveries until tomorrow. Sorry. But it was going to be a surprise for Wendy. I know. I'll come by and pick it up later. OK, Bob. See you then. Bye, Mr Dixon. What's this? Oh, dear me. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Sorry I'm late. I was waiting for a parcel, but it didn't arrive. A parcel? That's funny. Bob was... Action stations, team. We've got an emergency job. A tree's been blown over and it's blocking the road, so we've got to clear it up right away. But it means we can't help you finish Mrs Potts' fence, Wendy. Oh, that's OK, Bob. It is an emergency. We're ready, Bob! Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Oh, if my van isn't fixed by tomorrow, I don't know how I'm going to deliver all of these. I bet that's someone else wanting to know where their parcel is. <laughs> Some parcels need delivering, eh? I can help with that. <laughs> Special delivery spuds on the job! Hey, just a minute. 
There were three sacks there when I went inside. <laughs> this sack's really heavy. No wonder Mr. Dixon uses a van. Hello, Spud. Travis, what are you doing here? I just delivered some cabbages to the market. What are you doing? I'm delivering these parcels for Mr. Dixon. And you can help me. Uh... Spud, are you sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. I told you, I'm helping Mr. Dixon deliver these parcels. And what's Mr. Dixon got to say about that? He won't mind. But how will you know who they belong to? You can't read. So, all Mr. Dixon does is drive about giving parcels to people. I can do that. <laughs> Come on, Travis. Oh. Uh. Special delivery! Oh, there's a lot of care going into that rapid. Parcel for Wendy! Parcel for Bob! <coughs> See? It's easy. <laughs> there we are. Finished. Now, let's see about that parcel. <coughs> Hello, Mr Dixon. Bob here. I thought I'd pop by and pick up my parcel. <coughs> what? <coughs> Disappeared? <coughs> OK. I'll call you if I find it. Bye. Listen, team. Mr Dixon has lost one of his sacks. The one with my parcel in it. Scoop, come with me and we'll see if we can find it. Let's go. Oh, there you are, Mrs Potts. Finished at last. Oh, and it looks lovely, Wendy. Special delivery. Oh, but... but no, I... no need to thank me. Special delivery spud, that's me. <laughs> but I ordered a new hat. Hi, Wendy. Hello, Mrs Potts. We're looking for one of Mr Dixon's delivery sacks. Have you seen it? Well, Spud and Travis have got it. Uh, they went that way. Right. Come on, Scoop. Let's go. There. That's the last one, Travis. See? I told you it was easy. There they are! Spud, what are you doing with that sack? I'm helping Mr Dixon deliver his parcels. But you've delivered them to all the wrong people. Didn't you read the labels? Um, well... I told you, Spud. I... I was only trying to help. I know, Spud. But now you're going to have to collect all the parcels and take them back to the delivery office. OK, Bob. Sorry, Bob. Then you can help Mr Dixon deliver them all over again. But to the right people this time. Come on, Travis. Special delivery Spud's on the job, Bob. Hello, everyone. Bob's back. Did you find Mr Dixon's sack? Spud and Travis had it. They were only trying to be helpful. Bob, there's a, a parcel here for you, I think. <coughs> Thank you, Lofty. Oh, it's not for me. It's for Wendy. Bob, I found this when I got home. It's addressed to you. Look! <laughs> They've both got parcels. Yeah, I wonder what's in them. <laughs> It's the saw I ordered. I ordered one too. Oh, actually, Wendy, I ordered it for you. Oh, Bob, and I've ordered this saw for you. Oh, that's great, Wendy. Oh, thank you. It looks like Spud got something right after all. Special delivery spuds on the job. <laughs>